So for this episode, before I take you to it, I just wanted to clarify because, uh, you know, I had to record the um, record twice this video for some issues with my camera. But anyways, so um, the reason why I hire a, f a financial coach in the first place, even though my financial background and, you know, me having the knowledge is just uh, sometimes, you know, even Oprah has a mentor, uh, counselors see other counselors, uh, priests uh, confess to other priests and, and so on and so on. Um, so just because you are professional in certain area doesn't mean that you, you don't need an extra set of eyes for something personal, especially in finances. What happens is that um, their topics are so personal and so intimate and sometimes you can oversee certain things and having those extra eyes, it can help you uh, recognize or analyze certain issues um, that you might have that you might not be aware of them, right? Uh, so that is the main reason why I, I hire in the first place. But once again, if um, you ever need a certain professional, even if you are a professional in that aspect, you're not looking for the professional because you're you're not good at it or because you are not knowledgeable about it but because it's always good to have an extra set of eyes and whatever and it's, it really comes from a humble uh, place and instead of a, an egocentrist um, place that oh I don't need that so I don't need to hire yeah it, we all need someone uh, to mentor us or to guide us at some point in in our lives but anyways um without further ado <laughs> let's continue with the show hello bumblebees thank you so much for being here today welcome to my podcast my channel cafecito with the vivi i am vivi your host for today so this is my second take today for this episode um now it was my phone not working i don't have camera so i use my phone to record myself <laughs> and again it wasn't working so i don't know what happened so here i am and if this second take doesn't take then i will do the same thing that i did last time i'll just record a voice but anyways and today episode I actually want to talk about the story on how I ended up finding my financial coach. And so it's a little bit of my story, backup story, and how I ended up being a financial coach myself. But um, this start after I left the military life and I was, you know, if, if you know my story before the military and if I haven't said it or you don't follow me on Instagram or you haven't seen my website also that's what I put it but um, before the military I was homeless I was living in a shelter for a homeless homeless woman with two my uh, little kids which the two are older now my and that was before my third kid my youngest one so um, so I was at this shelter and that's how I ended up uh, join in the, the military so I can have the benefits, housing, and a job where I can get paid <laughs> every two weeks. And and also um, the medical benefits as well for, for me and my kids. So those were uh, the basic reasons. There are more to that as well, but that's an, another story. Uh, but anyways, um, when I left the military, my pension was not as much money as it was when I was um, getting uh, pay every two weeks. So I knew that I had to figure out uh, something so I can, you know, provide for my family. And I decided to become a, a real estate investor and becoming a real estate investor, I actually lost money. I fell for a scam and I lost uh, $55,000 that I had in my savings account. And um, and that was all the money that I had saved besides my, my retirement account. But I'm talking about money that I can actually use. I'm not touching the, the retirement account, but um, 
that's how much money I had and I lost it and I felt really really bad I and there and not she was the huge depression and I started noticing that I was not able to make uh, the end meet you know like not able to pay my rent I was living in um, in a mobile home trailer park park which is absolutely nothing wrong with that if, if you live a one uh, in one there's nothing wrong with it it's just that I knew that it was not the life that I wanted to live and then at some point I I remember that I was feeling like uh, guided what is it that I needed to do and I saw one of my friends uh, saying that uh, she paid her credit cards she paid her car and you know things like that and at that point I wanted to to go to be on that level as well to pay off my credit cards and all that good stuff so uh, I ended up hiring the financial coach to help me uh, getting into that and also they offer a program to me myself become a financial coach but I had to go through the program of being debt free before I become a financial coach with them and I was like yeah that's that sounds cool that's that's fine so um, something happened I paid some of my credit cards and then my pension started becoming um, bigger and then I had the opportunity to purchase uh, a new home and this house was was in a very nice area so I was like I, I really want to I really want to buy the house so I'm gonna I'm gonna ask I'm gonna ask this um, this financial coach is, is something that I should be purchasing and the financial coach to, told me no because I'm broke basically he was like no you're broke you you should not be buying a, a house you shouldn't be you shouldn't be buying a house not yet later but not right now and I felt so ready for me to be right now um, now before this I actually did my vision board and if you want to hear that story in the vision board is in my and some of my episodes I'm gonna put the link on the description on the notes for the podcast but um but you know i was like why why you tell me that who are you to tell me that i'm broke i understand i'm not i'm not denying and i'm not uh in um like i'm in awareness of my current situation according to the numbers according to the books according to paper right i know i i am aware so what I did is that I felt guided and I was like, F in this, I'm gonna go buy my house. And I purchased that home. It was in a nicer area. So we moved out of the um, the the mobile home trailer park and we moved to this nice area. It was a bigger house for bedroom, uh, two bathrooms. So my kids were having their, their own bedroom, each one of them. I was like, if I had a lot three kids so my three kids have their own bedrooms and it was it was really nice and I have my uh, my nice bedroom I have a huge closet which I loved it and something that I didn't know back then but I know now about the energies of money and when you lead your um, your life uh, into faith especially your financial journey when you lead yourself into faith instead of fear um things start accommodating itself i landed a job a part-time job to help me you know with that current uh, those initial expenses that it is moving to uh, a new house so i got that um i got that job and things start accommodating really really nice now before COVID, I actually got um, a random check as well. And then I was able to pay off my car. And then I also, and then COVID hit and a lot of people were scared, very, very scared. And I understand, um, I I remember that I was not scared. I remember that I was not scared of the financial, financial situation. Even though I didn't have a job, I wasn't scared because I already knew what it is to lead your life to lead your life in faith instead of fear so i already knew that and what what happened after that is that me continue to have in faith is that i also ran into some random check 
six thousand dollars which i actually use it for to invest on my um uh, on my business uh, and then uh, it was the cool times business if if you have followed my uh, my Instagram, then uh, you know that I used to have this in, in San Antonio. I used to have this big screen and, and a projector and speakers that I used to rent to watch movies. And since the movie theater were closed, so I thought it was a good idea. I probably wasn't, but that's fine. I'm really, I'm really okay with that. I haven't, I haven't like um, pushed myself down just because it didn't work. That's fine. It's fine. At the end of the days, I think that this is what I'm doing. This is what I was meant to do. I was meant to coach people into uh, their finances, into faith instead of fear. I I really think that this is what I meant. This is where I'm I meant to be, and this is what I meant to do. So I am, I am okay with this. So, anyways, um, also during COVID. Also, it landed in my lap completely. It just, it, I wasn't even looking for that, but it landed on my lap completely. And I got an interview uh, to work for the bank and I landed the job. So um, I was getting paid really, really well. So, you know, uh, I started in 2021, like really, really good. I celebrated my birthday in a huge way. We went to this uh, resort uh, homestay back, uh, like, stay home vacation or something like that but um we went to this resort which was super super nice you know i was by the pool ordering drinks to the cabana boy and getting my food and then i had a spa day with my friend linda so anyways it was it was amazing right i didn't understand at that time i didn't understand the energy of money and when you change your situation when you put yourself to that situation that things actually start uh, going well for you right and when i moved to uh to waco i felt so pressured to buy a house that i think i made i made the, the not the right move but of course lesson learned and also that helped me because that's when i start running into um, these topics that I know now about money energy and money mindset, money manifestation and, you know, and manifesting and all this stuff. So I start studying and I start getting these other certifications um, for me to help people. And I'm like, this is what I'm going to do and I'm going to do it. And, and this is what I'm doing now. So you know the of course when i moved here to waco i moved to an area that it, it wasn't as nice as the one in in san antonio it was not quite the it's not quite the the mobile home trailer park but you know it's between and i noticed that that my my money started coming less and then i had to quit my job because um you know i didn't feel like i was feeling like my my purpose in life i didn't feel that i was not feeling at my purpose. I was not feeling that um, I was the, the I was doing the right thing for people. I felt very um, tied on what is it that I I needed. Um, I was what I was supposed to do. So the the best part of all this is that now that I understand, I am making moves now, and it's. It's, it is completely from a different perspective and it's really just because it changed my mindset and now I understand things different and me knowing that I can help other people is really helping me a lot. So um, this is what I'm here for. This is what I meant to do. I can feel it in my heart. I can feel it deep in my soul that this is what I meant to do, sharing my story so other people get inspired so I can help other people as well. And this is this is really what I feel that I I I was meant to do. So I I hope that this is something that gives you a little bit of light. What is in, why it's important for you to understand money mindset, to understand the energy of money, because your current situation is not your final destination. Your current situation is just the unfolding of your manifestation. So once you know it, deep in your heart, deep in your soul, 
and you have faith completely and fully faith on that, then miracles can happen and miracles happen every single day. So um, that is my message for today. And that's why I fire my financial coach because he was leading me into he was leading me into fear instead of faith. And he might have thinking that he was doing it faith wise, but I don't I, I didn't feel I didn't feel that energy. I felt that he was pushing me more into um, having fear more than faith. And it's faith on top of everything. So uh, <laughs> that is the message for today. And I just wanna I wanna send um hopefully I hopefully I'm not pushing the, the name. <laughs> So uh, I just want to say uh, thank you and congratulations to um, Charlene, Charline. I'm trying not to watch her, her, your name. I mean, I'm so sorry. Um, but uh, thank you so much for leaving the, um, the review on the podcast. And if you want to leave a review and participate on the giveaway for a $25 gift card, Amazon E is a delivery via email gift card. So remember to leave a review and um, on the podcast, whatever it is that you listen to podcasts, either Spotify or Apple podcast, um, please leave me your review. I will and send me the screenshot to hello at mindfultasksacademy.com. So you can be the participant for the giveaway to that, um, to that gift card. So I'll be looking forward for that. And also the enrollment for the course on breaking uh, the barriers, which is a way to um, to um, to go through. It's a, it's, a, it's a transformative course for limiting beliefs. So whatever limiting beliefs you have around money, um, of course, the tools can actually help you uh, to go through a limiting beliefs around other areas in your life. But definitely, you know, I'm a finance coach, so I definitely focus more on, um, on limiting beliefs around money. But uh, definitely uh, it's a video, a pre-recorder, which is a course. You can take it at your own pace. And um, it's uh, four modules. There's bonuses. I have meditations for you. I have um, scripts and we follow along videos for EFT, the tapping. You know, the ones that uh, we do like that. Um, I also have other modalities that is going to help you break in through a uh, limiting beliefs so the name of the course is breaking the barriers and you can find more information on www.mindfultasksacademy.com slash breaking the barriers and i'm going to put the link on the description in the podcast notes notes so you can see it and please please remember to um follow me subscribe and ring the notification so you can receive a notification every time there's a new episode so uh thank you so much for watching for listening to me and remember it's a vivid thing you wouldn't understand bye